Hi everyone, my name is Alex Burnell. I'm the Advocacy Manager at MOVE Texas. Welcome to our lobby day, building a Texas that believes in us. And the wind, welcome to the wind. Building a Texas that believes in us. In so many ways, that's been the project since day one. Building a Texas that believes in us. Implicit in the statement is a sense of activity. We have built our building and will build our power. For the past five years, we've been a grassroots, nonpartisan nonprofit, creating power among Texas youth through a program of leadership development, civic engagement, and issue advocacy programs, where our fellows and interns learn the how-to of organizing. Even though our branding has become more recognizable, after all, you, you could have titled this day, Robot Takes the Capital. <laughs> Since our DIY salad days at the University of Texas at uh, San Antonio in 2013, we've remained as scrappy, devoted, and joyful as we were then. Our model of change has found its description. We're peer to peer, meaning young people organizing young people. Woo! Our model of change is one that works. We've had, a rec we've had record breaking days of voter registration, cracking 30,000 registrations in 2018 across Texas in San Antonio, Laredo, Seguin, San Marcos, and Austin. We've spoken out loudly and proudly for policy that intimately touches young people's lives, leading the fight as allies and inside coalitions. For a generation whose debts are high and work more precarious, we fought for paid sick time as a member of Working Texans for Paid Sick Time. For a generation watching border politics become the scapegoat of our national discourse, we fought for sight and release in San Antonio inside SA Stands, a 29-member coalition aimed at reducing the number of people in jail and ceasing collaboration with ICE to break up that deportation pipeline. We sued over SB4 and the recently attempted racist and targeted voter purge of the recently naturalized for the very same reason, to make our generation the overwhelmingly anti-racist, solidaristic one, an endeavor that's ongoing, but one with inertia at a place like MOVE. For a generation who feels the clock ticking, as I do under the sun today, on the climate, we've joined Climate Action SA to fight for a climate plan with real urgency. Every day at MOVE, we're mobilizing, organizing, voting, and empowering students, as MOVE's namesake of Mobilize, Organize, Vote, and Empower suggests. With that momentum, we're here today as MOVE with our allies and supporters to demand that our elected officials stand up for voting rights, a more modern system with less frivolous barriers, the right of black and brown folks to live freely and not be scrutinized and harassed, and workers' rights, as the lack of wages and benefits has made us class conscious, indignant about the disrespect to our basic dignities in the workplace. These motivations at MOVE Texas compel us to support bills that mandate college campus polling locations, student ID as voter ID, and standardize our deputy registrar process across the state so that teams like MOVE can mobilize to places known for voter suppression. Today, we're building a Texas that believes in us. And at MOVE, every day I work with somebody who I know shares the same vision for the organization and the young people that we work with every day. And her name is Raven Douglas, our Deputy Director at MOVE Texas, who I'm very happy to announce is speaking after me. So without further ado, Raven Douglas and I'm the Deputy Director at MOVE Texas. For Young People by Young People, MOVE, an acronym for Mobilize, Organize, Vote, and Empower, was founded by seven students at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Go Roadrunners! In 2013, as a student organization, we registered over 1,000 new young voters in the first two months, quickly spreading to other campuses across San Antonio. Over the next 
five years, our youth organizers, fellows, interns, and volunteers, the people that you see behind me, would register over 20,000 young people at universities, colleges, and high schools in San Antonio. In 2018, we expanded outside of San Antonio to Laredo, Seguin, San Marcos, and Austin, becoming Move Texas. A year of tremendous growth, Move Texas added 12 new staff members, grew our budget by 900%, shout out to funding the movement, and held the largest National Voter Registration Day event in the, con in the country for a second year in a row, registering 5,375 new vo young voters in 10 hours. In addition to National Voter Registration Day, we also registered a total of 30,000 young people across the state of Texas. In 2019, MOVE will continue to deepen our work across uh, the state, in addition to adding Dallas and Houston. We will further register 30,000 young people, engage them in municipal elections across the city in San Antonio, in Dallas, and also in Houston. In addition to registering 30,000 people last year, we were able to turn out 73% seven, of them. So that shows that peer-to-peer -peer organizing, engaging our community, and engaging young people works. In addition to registering 30,000 people, as Alex mentioned, we were able to fight for earned paid sick time in San Antonio, site and release in San Antonio for undocumented immigrants, as well as expanding early voting polling locations at Texas State University. But we're not done yet. This year, we'll register another 30,000 and we'll continue to, to uh, advocate for young people here, not only across the state, but also across the country. Thank you. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I can't hear y'all. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. That's what it looks like. And without further ado, our executive director, Drew Galloway. Wow. This is the power of young people. In just five short years, the young people of MOVE Texas have built the movement across Central, across South Texas, and now going towards North Texas and Dallas. I'm so proud to work at this organization and watch young people lead this work every single day from registering new voters to telling young people why they need to get involved in local elections and state elections and then answering questions and helping guide them to fight for the issues that they care about. For this entire day, we have people from our team and volunteers from Move Texas from San Antonio. Let's get a cheer, San Antonio. From Laredo. From San Marcos. And from Austin who's here with us today talking to their representatives, talking to their senators about the issues and the bills that matter to our generation. We are going to be heard. We're going to, we're going to make our voice heard on all of the issues that matter to our generation, whether that's voting rights bills, whether that are Im that's immigration bills, whether that's workers' rights bills, or whether that is equity bills and protecting vulnerable communities. We are here to let you know that now is our time. And in closing, I wanna let the legislature know that we are here, we're not backing down, and if we don't get what we want this legislative session, we absolutely promise you that we are going to take this fight back to the counties because things like mandatory polling locations are the, on college campuses are the right things to do. And things, absolutely, and things like voter registration modernization are the right things to do. And if we want more people involved in our democracy, we're here to fight for it. We're here to make our voices heard and you, the, you will continue to see us on college campuses, in high schools, and even at the legislature as we go forward. Thank you so much.
final speaker. I want to warm her up a little bit. So I want to ask again, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like! When immigrant rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! When immigrant rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! When immigrant rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! When workers' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! When workers' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! When students' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! Students' rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up for the back! exactly what we do at Move Texas. Without further ado, to close us out for the day, we have our high school intern on the advocacy team. She makes me proud every single day. She works incredibly hard for us. Mika Chavez. Good afternoon. My name is Mika Chavez, and I'm a Move Texas advocacy intern. I'm also a sophomore at Young Women's Leadership Academy. Growing up as a young Latinx woman in a single parent, low income household, I have been motivated to participate by the current political climate that not only impacts those that are close to me, but people worldwide. I'm fortunate enough to attend a school that teaches me to advocate for myself and exposes me to the social issues that will change my future, our future. After school and on the weekends, I work with Move Texas to fulfill that encouragement. On the advocacy team at MOVE, I have been made aware of legislation at the state level that if passed, will begin the habits of civic engagement for someone my age. There are bills like HB 512, authored by Donna, Donna Howard, that would allow 17-year-olds to participate in primaries. What do y'all think about that? Woo! Or SB 1053, authored by Senator Menendez, that would create an opt-out automatic voter registration system for 18-year-olds meaning one of the most difficult pieces of the civic engagement process would be taken care of for us. At MOVE, we often say that civic engagement is a habit and that these habits are hard to form in these difficult, complicated systems. And I believe that's true. So often it's these trivial barriers that keep participation, interest, awareness so depressed. And in my own family, voting isn't considered important. And I don't blame them. I blame a system that marginalizes them due to their poverty and targets them for exclusion from formal politics like voting yeah. and, includes them, and includes them in punishment politics like our prisons and our jails. The Texas state legislator sends so many messages to me, my family, and my community. Restrictive voter ID laws that disproportionately affect and disenfranchise brown people. Not accepting student ID as voter ID at our Hispanic serving institutions. SB4, which criminalizes being brown by encouraging through penalties that our law enforcement question our legal status in the name of immigration laws. Yeah. Limiting early voting times and locations will diminish minority participation to almost nothing. Because how are you supposed to vote when there's nowhere to vote where you live? And when are you supposed to vote when you're working two jobs to take care of your family? Yeah. All of these laws stay together. Brown people, stay in your lane but it's clear that we're not. We're young, we're angry, and we're smart. I and MOVE have come here today to demand from our elected class that they fight with us to build a Texas that believes in us. A Texas led by young people who are pulling up seats for other young people at the table. We want a modernized system guided by possibility while anchored in the old traditions of struggle, civil rights, social justice, inclusion, and equality for all. The legislation we fight for and the power of building takes us closer and closer every day. ¿Se puede? Sí, sí, se puede. ¿Se puede? Sí, se puede. ¿Se puede? Sí, se puede. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us at Move Texas's Lobby Day, building a Texas that believes in us. We'll certainly be back next session for a whole other fight. Yeah. Yeah.